BC Travel, a tour operator for international flights, plans to introduce SAPBW. The company carries out its evaluations, for example, on the availability of flight connections in operational SAP systems. On a long-term basis, the old reporting methods will be replaced and converted to SAP BW. In addition, SAP BW provides additional functions, for example, in the area of integrated planning and follow-up analysis applications that are to be fully exploited in the long term. The various report requirements in all the different branches of BC Travel are to be aligned and SAP BW is to be introduced as a standardized analysis environment. Both the reports from the operational source systems and the partly custom-built reports are to be included and extended in the individual company sectors. The financials and controlling, customer relationship management, HR and bookings areas are to be covered. SAP BW is introduced in several steps. As a pilot project, the requirements of the booking department and various reports for strategic reporting are implemented. Then, the other areas are integrated and modeled in SAP BW in several phases. In the pilot project, the requirements of the booking department should be implemented first. In addition, various strategic reports, comparison analyses and time series analyses are modeled. Second, the users formulated the following further reporting requirements that concern booking data at a less detailed level. For example, no booking ID required, no invoice data, with a high priority on performance even if the evaluated data set is very large. Third, some of the employees of BC Travel work as hotline support in direct contact with travel agencies and airlines. For critical customer questions and problems, these users must provide the current flight data without delay. Requirements may include the current capacity on flights, the current number of available seats in economy, business and first class or the current prices for specific flights. All master data information must be transferred from the source systems to SAP BW, in particular the master data for the flight customers, but also master data relating to the different airlines, airports, travel agencies and so on. During the modeling phase, the requirements may change, in particular, the time when the additional data sources are integrated into SAP BW. To implement the requirements for processing bookings, you first work with SAP ERP as the source system, which contains most of the necessary data for this area. Later, additional data sources from the different branches are added. Any data inconsistencies between the respective data sources must be caught by the data flows. In this course, you learn about the features of data modeling. The following summary provides a guide for the procedure. Unfortunately, there is no single exact procedure for data modeling. Due to different requirement analyses, source system processes and relations, it is not possible to provide one. 
there is no mechanism that you can use to create a single optimum data model. Instead, the procedure is a compromise that involves implementing the requirement analysis and optimizing performance at the same time. For the procedure of data modeling, we can identify three decisive phases whose sequence and priority are defined. It is compulsory to implement the report request. The correct result must appear in the SAP BW report and the required navigation options must be provided. Once you account for these requirements, you can apply the performance aspects to the data model. Finally, you should consider the logical or business structure of the data model. For example, Characteristics that belong together from a business perspective can be modeled in a one-dimension table. In Phase 1, the report requests are analyzed. Communication and cooperation between the user, the department and the SAP BW project team is essential at this point. The department must understand that the SAP BW project team cannot be experts in all application areas and therefore the parties must cooperate closely. The department defines the KPIs and the SAP BW project team can explain the effects on the SAP BW system the architecture and the data model. The SAP BW project team ensures that SAP BW terminology, cube, aggregate and so on is not in the foreground. Only with careful requirement analysis can you ensure that the data modeling that follows can be optimized. If a requirement analysis is revised or changed, the extensive reorganization processes in data modeling also affects the staging processes. Collecting the necessary information continues to be important. A frequent cause of performance problems is the inclusion of more information in data modeling than may be relevant. This often leads to very large data models with too many characteristics that become inefficient. Each additional characteristic in a dimension table of a star schema can diminish the aggregation. After the requirement analysis, optimize performance. With optimized data modeling, you can reduce performance problems before they occur. Data models with different functions or logical approaches are available for this purpose. Dimensional modeling is also important. After detailed analysis of relationships between the characteristics and the cardinality, the data modeler must decide where the characteristic should be modeled. Aggregates can also be used for further optimization. These aggregates represent a further physical summarization level. In this way, you can further reduce the number of data records to be read, that is, online application process or OLAP. However, note that these aggregates must also be filled, which also produces costs. If the number of aggregates is very high, this is an indication that the actual data model for the InfoCube is not optimized sufficiently. Check the necessity of navigation attributes. You can activate navigation attributes retroactively. A data warehouse layer can provide very good benefits for data model changes, scenario enhancements and the load process. A layer does not affect reporting or the direct performance in reporting. However, it is important to note that there is still a significant restriction. If the data from the operational data store or ODS layer in a delta process is written to multiple data targets, the selection criteria between the data targets cannot overlap. The data modeler can only influence the logical grouping of the characteristics in the last phase. However, phases 1 and 2 have a higher priority. Caution! For objects from the BI content, Phase 1 has not been taken into consideration. Here, each customer or each SAP BW project must make individual decisions 
and the data model has to be adapted accordingly.